Hello and welcome to Infinity. There's some free macros for you attached. See the details down below. Overall, you're just going to download a file and you can install it either by dragging it onto the interface or getting the library tab up through View, Studio and Library. And then from the hamburger at the top, click on that and import macros. And you'll get this Dave's Alpha Controls. So we open that up. There are a number of macros here and we're just going to cover the first one. The other two will need more detail but the bottom five there are very simple. Right, first one first. To do that we're going to need a something here just to demonstrate how it works and then we'll do an example. So first of all let's divide the screen up into three parts and then we're going to put in a gradient. And on the left here, the checkerboard means that it is completely transparent. In the middle, it goes from transparent to opaque, which means alpha or transparency goes from zero to one. And on the right there, it's got the alpha as one, so it's completely opaque. This control works only in this region here. It doesn't affect what's outside these. So let's bring it up. And it comes up with a, just a single control there, which means you can drag it around and apply it to things and so on without any difficulty. If we bring it up there, you can see here that it's the same all the way across, so it doesn't matter that it's overlapping. And if we turn it up, you can see what's happening. It's a pushing this across here, so effectively it's turning up alpha, which means it's making it less transparent. And it will go up here and it's only affecting the transparency so the colour it sort of ends up with depends upon the red, green and blue. And if I take this down the other way, unsurprisingly, it fades backwards there till that's completely gone. So it allows you to control the transparency of the area you're working in. If it's up something like this, and what I can do then as well is remove mono. So if I turn this down here, it draws a line down the middle and it takes out the this more monochromatic side, like that. And if I go the other way, it takes out the colour side, which can be useful, I will see in a minute. And that line where that is between the lighter and the mono and the colour side can be moved with this control. OK, let's look at it in practice. Here we've got a picture here with the usual problem you get with it, which is fly away here. Even on a fairly even background, you can still have problems. So what I've done is I've selected this using just a simple selection brush here and the refine. And still it's not quite the same. So let's zoom into here to have a look. So what I've got here, this is the selected one. If I put on the original, you can see there are flyaway hairs here. And it's not surprising it's not lost because the in the background is very, very similar colour between that and the background. But what's happened here, it is actually still in this picture, but it is so faint it can't be seen because the alpha has been turned down on it. So you want to be able to turn it back up in a controlled way. And that's what we can do with alpha squeeze and stretch. So I click on that to put that up there. I can drag it down onto just that one. So I've got the, the bottom one is just turned off. And then I can bring that up and watch what happens here. If I turn up this alpha here, what will happen eventually is those flyaway hairs will start to come back can see those in here. And if I go too far it's also going to bring up the other background as well, which is a bit too far. If I go the other way it's just going to all disappear and recede backwards and we lose here that way. So I can go up to somewhere like that. Then if I want to address this greyish area here, a bit of the background I don't want, this can be helped used with this. So I turn this down, see, and that gradually turns that down. It starts to make this disappear. So it's a very fine balancing act. 
And you can also play with this and see if this will make a difference. Sometimes it doesn't. So you can, there we go, we've taken out a lot of that background. We still get some problems in here. So what I can do is paint on here with black. So I go to the black brush here and effectively, see I'm painting in here. If I go out a bit I can see more of this. It's basically stopping that effect happening where I don't want it to and I could even go into finer areas then, reduce the brush and address that there. So you literally goes from, that was the original, that was the selected one and then with the control on you get bring in a lot more and it, and it it's not doesn't do it automatically, it doesn't meet extra work but it does something that I don't know what else could do the same sort of thing. Anyway that's it and thank you very much for watching.